I kicked my brother and his family out after he tried give me a wear invention. I am having a hard time feeling remorseful and I am unwilling to apologize for calling my brother out and for asking him to vacate my property. I have given him many chances to stop this behavior and my brother won't stop shaming me for having been a spicy dancer before I got my prestigious job. These are his literal words. I'm a nurse anesthetist. He has been making offhand remarks about me having been a spicy dancer since he found out six years ago. He gets on these long tirades about how I am ungodly, unholy and that the sins I committed can never be forgiven unless I repent and let Christ into my heart. I am not religious, I'm certainly not a Christian and will never be one but my brother refuses to accept this. Also, I only started spicy dancing because his wicked meds and gambling frenzy ruined mine and our parents' lives. He remortgaged their house, took out loans and several credit cards in our parents' name and even sold our parents' identity to his former dealer. I didn't know how bad the situation was until I came home one day from university and found strangers living in our house. My father was too embarrassed to let me know they were living out of their car. They also never reported my brother to the police because my parents didn't want him back in prison. Last time he went in for two years, me and my parents were blackmailed to pay his prison debt. So when I found out my parents, baby sister and baby brother were living out of their car, I decided to work as a spicy dancer. I made good money and with that money I was able to house my family, pay off my parents' debt, my brother's debt and put my younger siblings through college or university. During that time I also paid for his rehab and he got his life back. Now he is happily married, employed, sober and with a child on the way. For your information I paid for his wife's IVF treatments. Last Sunday our parents invited some people over for a big catered dinner. My brother and his wife thought this would be the perfect time to turn it into what he called a W-word invention and embarrass me in front of all the guests. I completely lost it. I was so enraged that I spent most of the evening cussing him and my sister-in-law out. I reminded him that I would never have been a spicy dancer if he hadn't tried to ruin us. On Monday I drew up an eviction notice and sent it to him. I want to cut all ties with him and his family. I am truly done with him. Almost everyone is telling me I am right in being angry but that it's terrible to kick him and his wife out when they are due to have their first child in nine weeks. My parents are begging me to forgive him and honestly I feel like I have been and I am being reasonable. I've given them 90 days. I am done being called the W word of Babylon and the downfall of mankind. Apologies for the link but I thought I needed you all to know as much as possible and I feel like I'm losing my mind. Edit. For clarity, I spicy danced for five years and used the money from that to claw myself and family out of debt and pay for my brother's rehab. I haven't stripped in over a decade. I paid for my sister-in-laws and bought the house my brother and his wife live in with my nurse anesthetist money. Which is why he doesn't feel bad about asking me for help now cause this money wasn't made from sinning. Also my sister-in-law is just as bad as he is. Am I the a-hole? Here are the top comments. Not the a-hole. A person who thinks so little of you and treats you so poorly should not have access to your life. Yes, it is unfortunate that his family will need to find a new place at a time when they are expecting, but too bad. Your dignity matters. Listen, my parents begged me to turn a blind eye and to forgive my brother so many times. I wish I didn't yield to their demands. That kind of poison harms you in ways that are not immediate apparent. Cut him off. Not the a-hole. You did what you had to do after your parents enabled him to the point of losing everything but their lives and the clothes on their backs. He should be thanking you not shaming you. You did nothing shameful unlike him. 